Hi Steve, um, we're here after another game against Warsaw Wood. Played them three times now over the last two seasons and another win, but more importantly, the clean sheet today. Yeah, two in a week. Uh, it's been a really good week for us. Scored four goals, four really good goals. Uh, kept two clean sheets, so something to really build on and we've gone top of the league tonight, so it's going to be a nice weekend. Yeah, so the first half, um, obviously like you you said to me earlier, you had a plan, you know, the pitch isn't the same as we were used to at the new manor ground. So yeah. is this something you adapt pitch by pitch, is it, you think? Yeah, we've said inside that we can't always win the same way. And at times we're just going to have to stand tall and battle and scrap and get bits and play percentage football, uh, which we did. We defended really well both halves. They threw a lot of stuff into the box. And Mitch in the back four have coped really well. But the two goals we scored were fantastic. And obviously when the highlights go out, everybody would be, be really pleased to see how good they are. Yeah, and in the first half they had quite a few chances. They, they played quite a, a lot of the game in our half, but they didn't... I, I don't think we felt as though we were threatened a great deal, were No, we? they had shots from outside the box, which Mitch has pod, poured on over the bar and he's made a good save from about 30 yards out. But I expect Magola to save those. It's when we're conceding territory and the sliding balls across the box uh, and they're getting, they're getting chance from inside the box. They didn't do that today. It was long distance stuff. It was throw, stuff thrown into the box. We picked up second balls really well with Dicko and Wheats clearing up after the back four have knocked one down. Yeah, we, we look at the two goals we've scored again today. Um, don't we do tappings anymore? <laughs> no, we, <laughs> we, we don't practice those. Yeah. They're completely off the yeah. cuff, but uh, they've shown great quality. Yeah. Carl's goal was a great goal. And Alex is, is class, really. You know, you sit up, he sits up, and you think, surely not. Uh, and it's nestled straight in the bo uh, straight in the bottom of the net without even bouncing, which was fantastic. Yeah, seen Alex has come on today. It's his first goal this season. He's come on as a substitute, and he's taken his chance today, hasn't he? He has. Elliot's come back off holiday. Uh, I gambled and put him back in. Obviously, take Malachi out. Malachi's still, I don't feel, 100% fit. Uh, but we've got the luxury of having five really good strikers that we can rotate. And today, Alex has scored a really good goal. Uh, and he, Elliot's again worked his socks off and Tim does what Tim does, he's, he's a pain in the backside, bless him. Yeah, and it keeps giving you this headache, doesn't it, for, for selection. When, every, when players are coming on off the bench, they're doing well, aren't they? It's going to be a tough Monday, we've got a game in two days' time, so we're going to have to take stock on Monday to see who is OK. Uh, there's a few bumps and bruises, because obviously this was a big combative game today. So we'll take stock Monday, we'll pick a team accordingly. Yeah, we saw Ryan, Ryan Wheatley went off early in the first half. What's the uh, prognosis on him We at think the he's tore a calf. Uh, I'm not sure whether it was the impact of the injury itself, but I don't know whether it's a twisted injury or he's torn his calf. So, Dave will have to assess that and we'll uh, find out his, you know, his long-term plan in the next couple of days. All right. Okay, and now we're going to have to move on to the the inevitable question. Yesterday, it was announced that you'll be leaving Ilkeston Town and taking on a, a full-time job as at Knox County as a first-team coach. Yep. Um, obviously, the fans are all gutted that you're going, but I think everyone appreciates that what you're going on to, it's your, your career, isn't it? It is, it's a professional decision as well. Uh, obviously, I've been at Ilkeston for over a year now and we've built something really special in my eyes. And it just needs to continue. Like I said to the fans, I'm a small part of a football club's history, uh, but the first year was really special for us, obviously reforming the club and getting promotion. And I'm proud to say I was part of that. But yeah, it's a, it's a professional season and life goes on and I'm looking to further my coaching career back in the Football League. And I'd like to thank the chairman for both opportunities, really. Yeah, we sort of look at, you know, you're moving to Notts County now. Um, you've left, I don't know if legacy is the right word, maybe, maybe <laughs> it's not. A word. It's a big word. <laughs> but you've left something, you'll be leaving something here that is special. You, you were, I think after Alan Hardy, my opinion was, after Alan Hardy taking the club on, the next best thing he's done was install you as manager. And I think a lot of fans felt that way as well. And have oh, you it's felt really that nice to hear. Hey, listen, the, the fans have said some really nice things to me, which I really appreciate. Uh, but life goes on, the football club goes on, the football club progresses. And even though, like I say, I've been a start of this, somebody's now got to take the reins and drive it forward because we can't afford to stand there and stand still because it's a huge football club with a great future. Yeah, and you have, there's something there's something here good for somebody to take on now, isn't there? Whether it be Deeks or a new person comes in. Absolutely. There's something, the, the, the building blocks are here, aren't they, for the future? Absolutely. It's, they've now got a new club, a really strong squad uh, from last year when we were bare bones. Like we said, when we came in, we had nothing. Uh, we've built and built, and Deeks is a lot of, you know, a lot of that with the recruitment. Uh, but like I say, someone's got to take it now and, and see how far we can go with it. And it's, I can only hope for more success. Yeah. Well, we've got you for two more games. So you hopefully, have. two more games like today, and then uh, you'll leave here. Everyone will, will probably want to carry you out to the ground. Head on. I doubt it, but we'll, we'll see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thanks a lot, Chet. Well done, Greg. Today. Cheers. Thank thanks. You.